While coming across a millionaire may seem unlikely, there's actually more of them than you think. In the United States today, there are over 21 million millionaires. In today's video, we're going to discuss 10 crazy facts that you may not know about millionaires. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Defining a millionaire Before we get started, it's important to define what a millionaire actually is. No, it's not someone who makes over a million dollars a year in raw cash. A millionaire is someone whose net worth is at or above one million dollars. To calculate this, you simply subtract your assets from your debts. While some people may make over a million dollars a year, they wouldn't technically be considered a millionaire if they're piled in debt. Now that we have that defined, let's get on to the video. Number one, Russian backgrounds. This may be difficult to believe, but people of Russian ancestry have a higher chance of becoming a millionaire than any other in the United States. It's estimated that people with a Russian heritage own over 5% of America's wealth. Coming in at a close second would be people with a Scottish background and ranking third is Hungarian. It's also been noted that the longer a particular group of people has been in America, the lower chances of them becoming millionaires. This is mainly accredited to people becoming accustomed to a more high-spending lifestyle. Number 2. 60-plus hour weeks This might be hard to believe, but to become a millionaire in any society, you have to work your tail off. While most people work the typical 40-hour week, millionaires are typically grinding out roughly 60 hours per week. This averages out to between 8 to 9 hours per day, 7 days a week. Each step you take up the ladder, expect yourself to be working more. If you think millionaires work a lot, well, as you might expect, billionaires work even more, clocking in 70 to 80 hour work weeks on average. Number three, multiple streams of income. Two out of every three millionaires have an additional stream of income that makes them extra cash on the side. While it's difficult to think that someone working over 60 hours a week has another means of making money, it's just another reason millionaires are so successful. Whether that's the stock market, real estate, or another business they're running, each additional dollar they make leads to a larger and larger snowball effect on their overall portfolio. One famous investment method that millionaires like to use is compound interest. They'll typically take their money and invest it into a mutual fund, which generates compound interest over time. The great thing about this method is that given more time, you'll make exponentially more money. It may be difficult to wrap your head around, but $100 invested today at a 10% return in 10 years is worth $259. So you might assume in 40 years, it'll be worth roughly $1,000 since $250 times 4 is 1000 well, that would be incorrect due to compounding interest, which we'd like to call interest on interest, that $100 would be worth nearly $4,500 in 40 years. Imagine taking $100 out of your account right now and being guaranteed that it's worth $4,500 by the time you retire? No need to imagine. Go do it now. Number five, no budget, no problem. While this may come as a surprise to many people, in reality, daily expenses typically eat up less of a millionaire's overall budget than the average person. So, the typical things that we have to account for on a daily basis, millionaires don't. Another reason for this is that millionaires typically have more self-control than most of us. Let's put it this way, they're millionaires for a reason. They probably didn't get there by blowing a lot of money on things they shouldn't have. If your income grows over time and your spending habits stay relatively low, in the long run, there's no need for a budget. Number six, classifications of millionaires. Since there is such a huge difference between one million and one billion dollars, millionaires have come up with a way to diversify themselves from one another. While we've commonly heard of the term multimillionaires, it's been narrowed down even further. We have a pentamillionaire, net worth of five million, a decamillionaire, net worth of 10 million, and finally, a hectamillionaire, net worth of 100 million. Some might argue instead of being a hectamillionaire, it should instead be called a centimillionaire. After all, in the United States, a cent is out of 100. But we're not going down the rabbit hole in today's video, but we'll leave that one up for you to decide. 
Number 7. Consider moving to Singapore. Per capita, Singapore has the most millionaires in the world, with nearly 500,000 millionaires in the country and a total population of 5.5 million. That means there's a 1 in 10 chance to become a millionaire in Singapore. This number is on the rise quickly and is said to increase by an additional 70% by 2025. While Singapore has the most millionaires per capita, it still falls short of the number of millionaires in the United States. In fact, there are over 21 million millionaires in the United States. Number 8. Millionaires can go bankrupt. The average millionaire goes bankrupt over three times in their lifetime. A lot of this is actually due to inheritance. Many family members who inherit a lot of money don't know how to manage it. A recent survey showed that be the second generation, over 70% of families lose their wealth. By the third generation, that number grows to 90%. So while several millionaires are being made daily, just as many are losing it. In addition to this, it was surveyed that nearly 80% of millionaires today did not receive any sort of inheritance at all. This would lead us to believe that millionaires are simply made and not born into wealth. Number 9 it's becoming increasingly difficult to become a millionaire. The top 1% in the world own nearly 90% of all the assets on Earth. Assets in this case are dollars and not physical items. What's even scarier than this is that the bottom 50% own less than 1% of the assets of Earth. The financial situation in America is becoming more and more troubling each year. As inflation surges and living expenses rise, it's difficult for the average millennial to keep up. In fact, the cost of living is inflating so fast that it's actually increasing faster than the hourly rate of wages. This also includes property prices. What we're seeing in our younger generation is that while fewer people are becoming millionaires, the ones that do are gaining it at significantly faster rates than previous generations. This can mostly be accredited to the technology that is available to use today. Number 10. Most millionaires own their own business. While we've all heard that staying in your own lane can make dividends, sometimes it's important to try and start something on your own. The thing about your day-to-day -day job is that you're only getting paid a set amount per year. While, of course, you may get raises and bonuses, that's not guaranteed. Many self-made millionaires start off their own side hustle and continue to build that while grinding out their day job. Over time, the profits from their side hustle tend to overtake their day job, and when that happens, you can make the transition to building your millionaire empire. That's all we have for today's video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. If you have a millionaire fact that we didn't cover in the video, please drop it in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.